Hey guys, Derek here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a simple way that you can improve your SEO rankings for your keywords while improving your click-through rates as well and being able to stand out in the top 10 of Google. It's very, very simple to do, so let's go ahead, let's get to the desktop, and I'll show you exactly how this works. All right, so this strategy revolves all around putting the current year inside of your titles as well as your description because whenever you're doing a search inside of Google, you wanna be able to stand out as being the most relevant and the most up-to-date content that you possibly can. So let's just do a simple search. Let's just do a search for Ulta. You'll see Ulta coupon or Ulta coupon code. And whenever you do that, you'll see that automatically populates as Ulta coupon 2019. So what people are doing is they're putting in the year because they want in this case, they want a coupon code that's available for 2019. In some instances, you'll even see the month that's added to that as well. So in this instance, not only are you able to stand out in the search results and increase your click-through rate, but also you can target some longer tail type keywords that have the current year or the current months in there as well. This is a very simple fix. This is something very easy to do inside of WordPress if you're using WordPress. So don't worry about if having to go back and change every single year, change out all the dates or change out all the years. Uh, it's a very simple process. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. So if you're gonna go in and we're just gonna open up like we're gonna create a new post. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down here to the Yoast settings. Now you'll need the Yoast SEO plugin to be able to pull this off, but this is a free plugin. If you just do a search for it uh, in the plugins tab, then you'll see that. So what we're gonna do here is whenever we click here, we can go and we can add a title and we can also add a description. So the way that this works, and it just you just do this right here. You just do current year and you'll see this populates to the current year. You can also do current month. Okay, so let's say, let's pretend for example that we are going to use a, uh, we're gonna use this, this for an affiliate marketing, okay? Uh, like well, let's say we wrote out a, a guide for affiliate marketing. So what we would do is we do affiliate marketing, guide for, and then we'll do something like this, current year. And so that way, affiliate marketing guide for 2019. So in this instance, we're trying to rank for affiliate marketing. We could be ranking for affiliate marketing 2019. We could also be ranking for affiliate marketing guide as well as affiliate marketing guide 2019. So you see all the variations that we can do by just having these words inside of the title. We can do the same thing for the description and you could do something like this, wondering if affiliate marketing works in and then we can put in the current year like that okay and now again you could if you're using coupon codes like in the description that we were talking about you could do this right here you could say uh ulta coupon code four and then you could do current month and then you could do current year and that is what it's going to look like right there and then you could put the same tokens inside of your descriptions as well. So that way, when a new year rolls around, you're not having to come back in here and update all of your posts or your pages. This will automatically do this for, for you and it will automatically roll over. All right, so below this video, you will find the tokens that you can use that I showed you here in this example. And what this is gonna do, this is going to allow you to stand out from the crowd. So if you can imagine, if you're doing a search and you see the current year inside the title as well as the description, that's gonna make your website stand out as being the most current version or the most updated version. And as a result, you're gonna see that your click-through rates will go up. And whenever your click-through rates go up, then what's going to happen is you're gonna be able to rank higher for your desired keywords, improving your all overall organic search. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be releasing more videos just like this one in the very near future. So take care and I'll see you guys real soon.